Hey Jason, it's Misha Tate. Although I think you've probably figured that out because your lovely girlfriend told me that you've been a fan of mine for some years now. Um, something I wanted to share with you as her and I were chatting, we figured out uh, that you're in Evansville and I'm not sure if you knew this, but that's actually where I got the start to my pro, uh, pro career. So uh, my debut was in Evansville, Indiana uh, for hook and shoot. I fought a tournament that night. Um, Anyways, crazy that uh, this is such a small world. Well, I also know that your birthday just recently passed and that Christmas is also kind of a day that you guys celebrate that together. So I can wish you a happy birthday and a Merry Christmas. And um, I wanted to tell you what it was like for me to choke out Holly home. Um, as your girlfriend shared with me, that was one of your favorite fights. And uh, so let me explain a little bit. So. When I took her back and I got the choke in, I remember before that my coaches told me, like, if you put a lot of pressure on her, she's either going to have to stay on the ground and you're going to finish her there, or she's going to have to make a mistake in getting up. So it was like the idea was to get her on the ground and put a lot of pressure on her there. And um, sure enough, you know, as she was standing up, she made the mistake of leaving her neck open. And that's really what I was looking for was anything that I could get a hold of to finish the fight. As I knew it was really close going into the fifth round and, you know, it was probably down on the scorecards. So um, when I got that wrapped around her neck and I got the choke in and then she tried to flip me forward. I mean, I was super comfortable in all of that. Um, I was expecting those kinds of exchanges because... You know, I knew she was a fighter and she was going to give it everything that she had. And uh, so we kind of flipped through um, emotion I've been through many times in practice. Uh, totally comfortable with being upside down, inverted, however you want to place me on the ground or in the air. And um, we rolled through. I still felt comfortable. But I remember squeezing and squeezing. And it just felt like eternity because she's so tough. Like she didn't want to tap out. And of course, you know. She didn't. She went to sleep, and I just was thinking, you know, please don't let the the buzzer um, beat this, or like, what was take, you know, what's taking her so long? Is she breathing through her ears? It just felt like so long. But you know, the moment that um, the referee pulled my arms off, I knew I had won. I knew I had made a dream come true. You know, talked about my pro debut. It was near 10 years from the start of my career until, you know, I was able to make it to the pinnacle of the sport and become a UFC world champion. So really an amazing moment for me. And, um, once again, thank you for sharing in that with me. Thank you for being such a great fan. I really appreciate it. And I wish you both a very Merry Christmas and to you a very happy birthday.